Hey boys, welcome back to some more Beer Pro Gold Coast Titans career mode, Beer Hooker career mode, whatever you want to call it. It has been, it's been a while since I've uploaded one of these videos. I sort of just, time, time constraints. I've, I've been busy with Supercoach stuff, uh, trying to trying to pump out the Dragon stuff a bit more consistently and this one just got left on the back burner, but we are, we are back taking on the Eels in round 24 of the season. We, uh, we're pretty much... I think we're pretty much gone from making the top eight this year. Uh, it's been, you know, it's been a decent year for us personally. We, we've had some, we've had some great games. I mean, for the majority of the matches we've played, we've been player of the match. We've been, we've been pretty good, but we just haven't been able to string, we haven't been able to string a, a, a you know, a full season together. We've been out through, you know, a few games with suspension quite a few games injury in total so hopefully we can finish the year off well and come back fit and firing for our second year in the top grade and you know a rookie coming in into the top grade it's not uncommon for them to just struggle with the the rigors the physicality of of nrl they can have all this all the talent all the all the all the all the strength all the physicality themselves but uh having that uh yeah, just that day-to-day, week-to-week grind of NRL. It catches up with, I'd say, the majority of plays in their first year. It's fairly rare for for it not to. So, yeah, hopefully we can we can finish off well. The Eels here are going to be a tough matchup. I didn't actually see where they were on the ladder, but uh, doesn't really matter. They, they're still a, a good, a very good side on paper. Is a beautiful ball back on the inside. We're backing up the middle, almost scooting away. Get the offload. Oh, that's that's nice, nice little uh, nice little inside work there, attacking around the ruck. I think it was Jaden Campbell that made the the initial break, and as we've done pretty much throughout the career, just uh, just backing up those line breaks, which is uh, work to treat as trying to hit the flat man there. I think it's Kevin Proctor. Don't know why he's starting, but uh, he is unfortunately. <laughs> as we swing it wide, I think it's Brian Kelly on the right here. No, it's Patrick Herbert, and he is going to score pretty much untouched it was just uh getting the ball out to one of your strike centers nice and early and one-on-one -on -one with his opposing man and just burns him all ends up takes him on the outside and toby sexton with a uh with a nice little kick from uh from out wide and that'll put us up six points to zip early early in this game and again we make a line break it's good scramble good scramble by the eels there to get back otherwise we were we were into the backfield with uh, with the fullback to beat in support players looming. It's once again we just we are absolutely running over the top of the Parramatta defensive line here. It's been a, a bit of an onslaught early on, uh, only only into the uh, the twelfth minute of the game. So plenty of plenty of time to just sort of set up and and try to continue this uh, this onslaught as uh, it's going to be a kick downfield not a great one unfortunately as Hayes Dunster is going to uh, take the first tackle there but uh, we regroup here as a, a nice little ball there Jared Wallace now bursts through gets the offload back to us nice little pass off to Kevin Proctor couldn't quite get the arm free but once again making easy easy meters upfield 20 minutes into the game third tackle 20 meters out beautiful ball across it was that big day for feeder maybe almost getting across how do they bring him down they're shot to the left but all we do we we feign to swing it left and just saw the the man on the outside just not really have his eyes for us I think it was uh Nathan Brown potentially no, who was it? Madison at the at the back tried to make the tackle. No, Madison. Pff, I think <laughs> I think Gamble Gill had the ten went the other way. Nathan Brown had eyes for the man outside, and whoever it was tried to cover across. Just didn't have uh, didn't have a good base to make a, a try saver. So that was a that was a nice little dummy half try. A very sneaky little play, and uh, we'll take it. Twelve points to zip up in this game. Only only twenty minutes. It feels like it's been going for ages, and off the back of a scrum. Oh, it'd be the first error we've had in this first half. The Eels get a scrum feed. Just swing it to the left with uh, Clint Gutherson. And uh, the scrums on this game, obviously very powerful because, yeah, you just you just have to beat that one man one-on-one -on -one with, a, with a step and you're pretty much in the clear. And unfortunately, Gutherson is, uh, is going to make us pay. So we have been 
very much in control, but uh, that try just before half time is is not good. Is that is a that is a great kick, not a 40-20, unfortunately, but uh, that's that's a that's that's a beautiful kick. What can you say? We we've really added well, not really added. We had the kicking game from the get go, but we've we sort of we've come we've come along nicely in terms of our just ability to kick downfield into space you know we we've we've utilized our long kicking game very nicely and uh you know having a having a very good dummy half kicker just adds so much versatility to the team it's uh you know the 40 20s obviously for a dummy half i would say uh easier in a sense anyway because you can sort of get on the the front foot a bit sooner whereas a half is under a little bit more pressure if you get a quick play the ball just inside that 40 meter line you can just have a little couple of steps out and and uh and go for it and you're in a, a pretty good spot as uh i was gonna go for a field goal we still do <laughs> we nail it it took a deflection off one of our players and i thought that was gonna that was gonna hinder our opportunity as the possession somehow we only that must be wrong i think it had like 34 percent possession to us which is crazy uh, but yeah, sneaky little field goal to make a seven point lead at half time. It's, uh, it was, you know, a bit of a heads up play as, uh, the high kick goes up, batted down, Clint Gutherson almost getting his second try, but good scramble coming across and, and making a nice tackle to save the day as, uh, we, uh, you know, it's, it's still plenty of time, plenty of time for either team to, uh, to really stamp their authority as that is, uh, it's, it, Good play down the left. We just over overchanced our arm there with the the call for the pass. It was you know it, it was, I mean if it went to us, we, yeah we would have got through, but it was just too risky. We we shouldn't have called for that. That's that's very silly play as the Eels get a chance here. The little kick in behind. Thankfully, thankfully it sort of came off the legs of one of our players and. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't be a try time as uh, they do force him back into the end goal. So more more pressure, but our defense has, has held up pretty well. I mean, the, the one try for the, the Eels was, you know, it's one of those one-on-one -on -one missed tackles that happens as uh, Gutherson again off the bat down. We come across and make an absolute try saver, you know, just, just covering across just in case that happens. And we were in the uh, the perfect spot to bring uh to bring clint down he's uh he's been in everything he's been in everything in this game he's, he's really trying to uh tee up the ante for the for the eels just always around the footy he's had a couple of sneaky chances but we've uh we've held strongly thus far as uh trying to hit jared wallace through the gap but very good defense jamming in as uh the clock is starting to become a bit of a factor for the eels as that's a great offload brian kelly scampers away so fifth tackle Seven points in front still. Seven minutes remaining. It's uh, it's looking it's looking pretty good for us as uh, we put up a bit of a, a midfieldish bomb. It's not a bad kick actually. We get through, put pressure on, a little bit too shallow to really, you know, I guess uh, scare for a try. But uh, still turning the ball over ten meters out. Not a bad result by any means. So the Eels are going to be kicking downfield here. A couple of minutes to go in the game. It looks like we pretty much wrapped it up. So it's a, it's a, it's a very solid win. You know, uh, not too much of attack to speak of in the second half. It's been a bit of a grind fest, but we've defended well. We we still, you know, kicking game has been solid, and we've had a couple of chances in attack that we we've uh, not so much squandered, but uh, again through puts a little kick in. Oh, I couldn't quite get hold of it. I wanted him to kick it to me, but. He couldn't quite get it across his body, but we get uh, a nice, like I said, a very, a very solid victory. Once again, play of the match. We had a, we had a stellar game. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.